chicken breast. Let me let y'all see. That's one. That's one of the, the chicken breast. So I did that thing out. And it's bone in with the rib too. So and you see the seasoning on it. And got the bone in. Yeah. So and then I have these thighs. They're like medium thighs. They're not like well, they different sizes, so then I got the thighs. I got some chicken thighs. Yeah. So, I got that. I should have showed y'all earlier my um, bunless burger I made. But don't fret. I'll be coming back with that boneless burger. I'm trying to think what I'm going to make with it. I mean, uh, yeah, bunless. Mm -hmm. Made me thinking about a bone. <laughs> yeah, but a boneless burger, baby. Yes, honeys. Mm, I'm just getting this in. So with that, uh, with that going like that, let me rinse my hands off a moment. Got them rinsed off here. Dry my hands off, y'all. And then, this is the chicken. That's all of it in a nutshell. Oh, child. Where'd I kick down there? Kick something. I'm gonna step on that thing. Kids always leaving stuff. Okay, step on that um, little toy. But yeah, okay. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead on and grab my vinegar. Y'all can look at my pretty lights over there. Oh, I'm grabbing my vinegar. Ah, oh, one more thing. I forgot. You can't use that with that, that crystal. Y'all know we need that crystal. That fried chicken baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Now I don't know. I never used this to try to make buttermilk, but I'm gonna try to use this one today. And it's the vanilla. So Oh, you know what? I have some homogenized. Let me see. got to it first. All right. So, that's sad. Let me, I'm going to go ahead on and try this one. Got to it first. Let's see. I'm going to see how that works. We're going to see. Let me see first. All right. And you know you have to add your vinegar. The vinegar, you know, you have to add that in order to make the buttermilk. So, so we're gonna see how they go. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm gonna clean this up. I had a little bit of uh. Evaporated milk, too. It was just, I had a, a, maybe about a quarter of a can. Nothing here. So, it was just, I wasn't doing nothing with it. So, I decided to pour it into the chicken as well. Let me um get some of this stuff out my way. And I think I'm through with the seasoning. So, I had added a little of the uh, Himalaya pink salt. Once I got that going, the marinade, as y'all can see, you gotta see it. Let me see. Yeah, as y'all can see, I got it going, marinating, 
in there. So that's the, um, I use the almond milk and I use the evaporated milk in the can just to cover it so I can let it sit. Oops, sorry. Had a camera malfunction, but um, everything's back on the track. We have, every time I move it, I might have to buy another tripod, that's all. So with that, uh, that tripod malfunction. So I got the meat, it's gonna soak in this, huh? I gave it a take. Like I said, he ate two burgers, so he should be good. So I might let it soak. I might mar marinate for maybe an hour. Hour? I think an hour. Hour and a half. Yeah. Or maybe two hours. We'll see. I think, well, I think, you know what? Let's let it soak. I'm going to wash my hands again, y'all. I'm going I'm to let it soak for at least an hour and a half. And then remember, I have the potatoes over there. Then I'm going to do the waffles. So I'll be back with that. I don't know if I'm going to dredge the potatoes and put them in a coating. Uh, just fry them up like that. You know, because they already was baked. So that's what they mean, parboil, I guess. Parboil. Well, I guess. But they're pretty much done. Just want to crisp them up. But we'll see with those. And I season them up with the Everglades. With the Everglades seasoning, I may have already put it up with that Everglades season. Oh, no, I didn't. I put it over here. With this. So, we're going to see. I'm going um, to, I think they use this on alligators and, let me see, um, a unique blend of imported herbs and spices that Add that down home southern flavor to all your favorite foods. Okay, it says Everglades original seasoning doubles as a roll rub for all meats, including steaks, ribs, chicken, pork, and venison. And as a natural meat tenderizer, sprinkle this flavor enhancer on potatoes, veggies, pasta. Rice, grits, fish, eggs, anything you want to get compliments on. Oh. Fish and chicken, cactus dust, heat. What is cactus dust heat? Anybody know? Hmm. And other delicious seasoning. Cactus dust. If anybody know what cactus dust is, leave me a comment and let me know. What is cactus dust? Yeah, it says right down the label. Cactus dust. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh, well, interesting. So, uh, you know what? I might not. I'm going to put nothing else in the chicken. That chicken doing good. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up here a little bit, and then I'll be back. What you kicking, child? What you kicking, child? Hey. All right, everybody. So, now I'm going to fill the deep fryer up. With some oil, I'm just using some Crisco vegetable oil. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead on the fill. I already had some, so I put it in there. I got it. Actually, let me turn it on so it can start heating up. I'm gonna heat my deep fryer up. Let me see. Actually, I'm gonna turn it all the way up to three. Is it go all the way up to 375? So I'm gonna turn it all the way up to 375. Cause on the thing it say 365. Yeah, 365 for chicken. But it got 375 for meat. So I'm gonna go ahead on and put it on 375 and then I'm gonna drop it back down. In a few minutes, I'm gonna drop it back down because you know these things turn heat up quick. So let me go ahead and get this oil in here. Ooh. Slowly pull, slowly pour. You don't want it everywhere, slow and pour. And you have to put a lot. The deep fry, you have to put a lot. But it's worth it because the oil stays good and everything sinks to the bottom. So, I'm going to see. I think this is probably enough. I think it make the whole jug look like it. Let me check, let me check it out. Submerge the basket. Uh, yeah. I think, well, might as well put it all in. Might as well put it all. Yeah, so. 
I put it all in, y'all. Um, I don't think it's gonna rise up when it get hot, so that should be good. And then I gotta get a plate set up. Let me get this out the way. Excuse me. So give me a second here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a plate. Serving dish. So right now I'm just grabbing. I'm just grabbing some so I can have something to put the chicken in. So when it does come out, I can just lay it down on it. I'm gonna lay up some paper towel to kind of catch some of that oil. So well, I'm not gonna hide it. Back then I'm gonna put it right here in the open y'all can see it do it like that so right now only thing we're waiting on now is the oil to come up the temperature and <clears throat> then bring the chicken out because i should have actually i had the chicken marinating for two hours i marinated for two hours so i know a lot of it would have been way better overnight but we in this chicken today so I'm going to take it on out the fridge so it'll come up the room temperature, hopefully before this get hot. So with that said, woo, take that out. It's pretty cold though. I'm getting some tongue. And I'm going to season my flour. I'm gonna use flour. I was gonna use um, breadcrumbs and all that, but I don't feel like dredging and doing all that, so I might add, no. I might add a little breadcrumbs in with the flour. Um, let's see how. Yeah, I can do that. It's actually. When Dixie plain, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna use some of that. I'm, I'm gonna see how they work out with both of them in. Oh, uh, and I forgot one thing. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me wash this old hand here. I forgot to get my bacon, I mean my starch. I like to put starch in my flour. Then I can make it crispy. Let me put this over to the side now. Then, let me get up here and grab the starch. Remove that. This is a good thing, but then that's kind of bad too to have around your house because your kids pick up habits and go to eating this crap. Yeah. Yes, they do. A few of them in my family, granddaughter, niece, eat this mess. But anyway. That's another tip. I put about a half a cup. I got about maybe four cups of flour in. And I just put like a cup of panko. Let me see. Nope. About a cup and a half. Like a cup and a half of the breadcrumbs. And I put like a cup. Like a half a cup. A half a cup of um, the starch. And that don't go down. That go down here. Excuse me, y'all. Now there, so then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna season 
I'm gonna season this fl this flour. I'm gonna put some no. I'm gonna put some of this in it. I ain't gonna put much cause that gonna have. I'm gonna put some of that on it. Um, I love paprika. I love paprika. And some garlic powder. Garlic powder, y'all. And set that over there. And I'm gonna use some. I think I'm gonna use a little Himalaya salt instead of whatever. And I do have measuring spoon. I have measuring spoon, measuring cup. I have everything, but I just choose not to measure. I don't know. It, it makes it simpler for me, you know. Cause I have. I mean, I have all that, those gadgets. Do that. You know? Yeah. And that was a teaspoon. I'm gonna put two in it. That was a teaspoon, so I put two of them, two teaspoons in it. Out right, of Himalaya salt. And I'm just gonna shake a little bit of the accent in it. Give or take two, give or take two tablespoons, so two teaspoons of it. So I'm gonna grab this in a little mixture. And I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake my bag here. Shake my bag. Ooh, my bag. <laughs> All right, here we go ahead. Nice. <laughs> now I can say, shake, 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 shake my baggy. That my baggy got a little hole in it, y'all. It might, it got a little pinhole. It'll be all right. It's a web, so it has a little pinhole on it. So I'm just gonna do that. Yeah. Problem solved. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Yeah, okay, let me clean this up. I got flour all over it. All over it. Okay. I'm gonna clean this up here. And we're waiting on the fry, deep fry to come up the temperature. Once they come up the temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that chicken into that fryer. So with that said, I'll be back. We're gonna I'm gonna I'll be back when I get this the grease, the oil up the temperature. Alright? I'll be back. Alright everybody. I got about maybe four pieces of chicken inside the bag. I'm coating it. Um, I know sometimes if you let it just sit for a little bit, you coat it, and let it sit and recoat it, it'll get so crispy. But I want to go ahead on and get it fried. Hopefully it'll turn out crispy this time too, like this. So we'll see. I, I hope so. You know, I like the crunch. I, I'm a crunch person. I love crunchy, 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 crunchy. So. I can smell the oil. I don't know if it's up to temp yet, but we're gonna try it out. I had to put on a glove this time because I can't stand that flour on my hand and I don't want to use the tongue. So I'm gonna just use the glove, which my hands be clean anyway. I just can't stand. I don't like the, the, the flour, you know, mixture. 
But it's, it's okay. It'll make you feel like you're finna stop baking. <laughs> oh, I heard him silver dance. Sizzling! I heard that silver. Y'all didn't hear that? I heard that silver. So let's see him. All right. You can kind of got that mad. <laughs> you know, I had marinated this chicken. It was over two hours. And my refrigerator worked as a, a freezer, too. I mean, it's ridiculous. I think I need another. But anyway. And I forgot that that thing will freeze your food if you're not careful. You put something up there just to marinate. You come by, it got a little crystal ice in it. And you know what'll happen if water hit oil. So I have to be very careful with that part up to make sure that's not what's gonna happen. So with that said, I'm gonna test this. Sizzling chai. Let me see if I can get y'all around without this thing messing up. Let me see. Okay, there you go. In the pot. Get in the pot. Get in the pot. Let's try this oven. All right. So far, so good. I think it's cooking a little bit too fast. I'm going to turn it down. Oh, the outside will be done before the inside will. So I turned it down. I turned it on. It's like 350. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get some more chicken inside the flour mixture. See y'all. I made my hands clean, so we ain't gonna be we ain't finna be talking about that. So I'm gonna do that. So that. So let's look for more pieces in here. I think um I had cut some some of that meat off the bread. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it might have been the breast skin, y'all. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead on and do one of the breasts. Get it going. Get it going. So that's it. Put it in now. Shake it up. And this one has to get set. Yeah, that doesn't sit. So that, that get done. I have a size and and they're uh, cooking now. Just five. Then I'm frying now. So y'all hear that silver? Silver, silver. All right then. So I don't know if I want y'all want to just watch this fry it to come out. I will let y'all watch it till it come out. That there, that can sit there. Then I'm gonna clean up a little bit. Just a little bit. This go over here. Y'all can still hear that silver. Clean 
clean up your work area. Clean up. Right? Then you're going to have that bed to clean up after you finish. So clean up your work area. Ooh, this chicken smelling good. I want y'all to try this recipe now. And let me know how it was. Remember, make it your own. Put much or less seasoning as you choose to. Mm -hmm. So, that's going to go ahead on and do that. And I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with the potatoes yet. I know, um, and I'm not making homemade waffles. I already had went to Sam's and bought, I already had bought a whole case of uh, already pre-dead waffles and one of my, um, one of them I'm going to make some homemade waffles. All I'm doing with them is just put, throw them in the toaster. And pretty much I'm just frying the chicken and the potatoes. So that's pretty much the one that I have to cook, so... I don't know, I might try dredging those potatoes and see how they kind of turn out. I might just do that. Mm-hmm. Once I get all the chicken out and get it done and cooked, y'all want to see what, how that grease looking in there, y'all? Look. Look at it. Yeah, now. Y'all see that? Let it fry. <laughs> it. It's like a pressure cooker. Go ahead. Two minutes. Got to check it. You don't want it to burn. That would be so embarrassing. So I'm not going nowhere. You out here. My husband don't like it too crispy, but I do. I don't know. I, I, I'm just a fanatic for crunch. Anything crunchy, that's me. Anything crunchy, I'm just attracted and drawn to. I don't too much like soggy stuff. Real soft and soggy stuff. 